guys, it's um, Melissa Stuff, and um, I'm doing a Project Friday slash, well, Thursday slash Friday video. Um, sorry I haven't done many for a very long time. Um, August I was busy with renewal, September I was busy with getting moving, because um, you'll notice I'm actually sitting in a proper chair, not, or you might notice, or you might not, I don't know, and I'm... Uh, fairly comfortable now. Um, so I thought I would show you some of the stuff I've been working on. I can't show you all of it because I can't remember where I got to last time I'm afraid. So zombie wise, um, I've got a load of zombies painted and this is my most recent fatty. Um, I'm really quite proud of him. And then this guy is the most recent zombie that I'm actually working on. really proud of him. So I've just got his base to do, his white line, because all my zombies have a white line on their base, and white on the sides to dictate that these are normal zombies, and then a bit of blood, and then he too is finished, and I can start on the next of the ladies. Okay, now I know for a fact that we were doing a lot of stuff on this beauty here. I'm quite proud to say that I've got all the cushions done, got the cauldron done. I've got the two extra skeletal guards done. And the back panel. But I'm very sad to say that we are not over and done with the horrible, horrible bone. Okay. Because we're on our next step, which is, according to this, so we've done these bits. We're on step number 12. And the next bit is the, oh, whoops, um, there's a giant kind of bit that on the model sticks out kind of up here. Um, so to start with, I need to actually get these cut out. most important step for me, I think. I'm just pinging these bits out really quick. Whoopsie. And now I don't have any of the specialist tools as they call them um, to clean up bits that you cut off because um, yeah always be careful kiddies get an adult to do this if you can't some adults get another adult to do this because you you know accident prone like me I, I guarantee you I'm gonna cut my fingers at some point doing this if I don't I think we all deserve a prize. <laughs> okay. So there's that bit. And the next bit we're going to add to it is a skull. It's number 47. hard to find on here guys, I'm not going to lie, it's ridiculously hard to find stuff sometimes on here. Flat 
So because this bit is going to be fairly boring, I'm afraid, guys, I might keep it to 20 minutes max, this video. Because there's only so much I can ramble at you about. Most of it might not be particularly friendly in the end if I ramble too much. Because I have um, uh, kind of had it enough of people being mean to other people for the sake of being mean. And I think society is becoming a horrible, horrible place to exist. Please don't think that means that I think all human humans deserve to die. I don't. I just think that um, society has become a horrible place for, you know, normal, everyday, hard-working people. And I'm not blaming the government. I'm actually blaming people. Too many people are so happy to just go, my life's crap and it's someone else's fault instead of my own. Because I don't want to take responsibility for the fact that I messed up. So there we go. He has a face now. If the camera will focus on him. There we go. But I'm not allowed to complain too loudly or too long. So, on to the next part of this glorious, hopefully, last bit of bone before we can actually start adding some amazing colour to this and possibly move on to some other project videos, like uh, go back to doing a couple of Brink pages or something. something incredibly dangerous and I don't expect anyone else to do the same thing. I'm using a fairly blunt blade. This is dangerous, this is stupid because I have to apply more force, more pressure to it, which means that I could actually cut myself a lot worse than I should. So don't do this at home kids if you're watching. Adults, you know better than me. So um, <laughs> please prove it. So this bit, So sure, because that not go together. Managed to cut off an important bit. That's what, isn't it? Okay, let's modify it. If it doesn't work, fix it so that it does. just done the most stupid thing in the world but wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if I have we managed to mess up and do something stupid with these things anyway You started getting me to water down my paints. So, maybe I'll stop using so much glue. Anytime soon, I might admit, but...
hopefully, if I leave that there, that'll stick. Get his head sorted. <laughs> that sounds so wrong on so many levels. And then we'll leave him to get. today guys, I'm sorry. So you can't really see much right now, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, we got his head on. So now we have to try and fix this bit so it'll actually fit. Hmm. I've got a join there, that's all I need. I need it to join. So again, I'm testing out a new setup, so I can see that this isn't actually working, but this is the only place I had to do it at the moment. So next time I do this, so hopefully next week, because I've been uber busy this last couple of weeks as well. Right. He doesn't want to stick. Is, is let's see if I can pin this bitch. Have my super cool. Oh, I really think it's super cool anyway. Um, see, I really like this because even though it makes me do, you know, very rude looking movements. Yes, you can see. Yes, you're allowed to snigger, but anyone leave any comments, I will not be impressed. And just by doing that, if you can see, because I have to put my hand in front of the damn camera so it can focus on it. There you go. Hold. It's a fairly deep hole, too. I don't agree with it. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's under my nail. That's fine. I'll be okay. No worse than actually being at work. Because I have to take stickers off every day. And... Oh, with that paper cuts under your nail. Oh my god. Hmm.
this guy's flying. I wasn't supposed to be proven right. Okay, today is just not my day for doing this. My yellow um, is that I had. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I don't need that bit. So I don't care about it. Cut it really long. Oh. My yellow pliers that were really, really good for this have vanished in the move. So, unfortunately, really really good ones anymore which sucks ass because they were really really good and a gift from a friend painted for a good half an hour anyway now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you can't even see what I did in the end. Oh well. This is why oh. she'll wear safety gloves. <laughs> I am accident prone. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, that's why you need to take special care. Don't get overconfident, especially with your screwdrivers, get with your, um, these things. While they are good, they hurt. It's already actually started swelling. Look at that. Anyway, sorry, this is not a video that's supposed to be about hurting yourself, sorry. Um, so, anyway, we were, so we glued him, pinned him. As you can see, it's now fairly sturdy, which is nice. Um, so, uh, he's ready to be painted. But we're probably not going to get to do any of him today, because, um, ouch. More so to the fact that um, it needs pinning. So yeah, this show is going to become the what not to do to yourself show. Okay, so. Now I do not um, water down my paints for the bases. Sorry guys if that upsets you. Me. I've actually started doing it, you can see. Come on camera. That I've started doing it on anything that isn't a base colour. Apart from the skin, because that's recognised flesh and that is a base colour. And that's painting the ass to water down. There, I don't water it down for the base because I just want my roadways. So, I'm really looking forward to Black Plague when it comes out. But I have so much more Zombicide stuff to do for you first. That, um... Uh, I, I, I am, of course, going to do an unboxing video. And then once I've got through season one stuff, all the scenarios and stuff, then I might start on the whole black plate kind of thing. But I'm not going to get season two of Zombicide until I've finished painting all these figures, because there are so many of them, and I don't want to get more of them. Just to try and, you know, like, paint them all over again. Fair enough if people do buy them for Christmas, because I do know that some people are considering it. I will quite happily accept and maybe even mix them in. 
and if I get the expansion or prison break then I will play those as well but hey right, someone asked about this what this is this was actually a gift from uh, my colleague uh, and uh, paint buddy Colin when we get to, used to get to do painting days together don't really since I've moved have get to do them anymore um, but hey that's okay So we now, now need to leave his base to dry, quickly, quickly, because it won't be for so long. So I'm going to actually get you my zombies. Because I think I've painted, sorry I should really wait and talk to you when I'm back over there, because I painted um, the abomination last time, and I've started painting some zombies. So. Here is the first one. Uh, you'll notice that I've done lots of colour schemes because they're all blue in this first line. Come on, there we go. Yes, I don't know why they decided to sculpt that in, but they did. Um, come on, Outrunner. So. Here are the runner. And here's another runner. Sporting the blue and grey. Um, and then there's the guy here. And the fatty here. For the blues. I have, the next one I'm going to paint after him is this lady here. She is also going to be one of the blue members. I'm going to paint kind of rainbow dash her up. Got to. Blue. Um, I also, the next row is going to be a ready, um, red and orange kind of colour scheme. So I am really, really proud of this, guys. Now, I don't want to seem racist, but it's because I've tried painting black skin colour before. And it just, I, I've never managed it, but I can't, I don't know if you can see on this figure. I've actually managed to get the proper... Um, skin tone so it's not just black paint on a model I've got like um, highlights and stuff and I'm really proud of that um, like I said I don't want to sound racist but um, it's really hard I've always found it really hard and it's not because I'm, I'm coloured it's because um, when actually it probably is a point in paints because that's like considered the flesh colour so uh, what I did for him, if you're interested, uh, was I started off with a really dark base. Where's my really, really, really dark base? It is that. I started off with that as a base. No, don't break. And then I added that. Little bit, a little bit of this, very little bit. A little bit of that, so that, that made one layer. So that was a t base layer, and then um, these three in varying. So as it got uh, side of the base, it was just that, and then I added a bit of that, and then a bit more of that, and then on the next side, a bit more of that. But to all of them, I also added a little bit of red. So it kind of looks a bit more, um, you can't really see it, but it looks really warm compared to just painting those colours on. And I am very proud to say that I did it right. And the other thing I'm proud of is to, that the model looks right as that. If that seems wrong, I'm sorry. And the final other zombie I have is this one. Is my red fatty, because he's the first fatty I painted. And I'm really, really proud of all the highlights and stuff on him. And here's where I started. Well, I don't really water my paints down because that takes too long and pisses me off. Especially when I'm at work. I just do dip, dip, paint. And that seems to work. So each to their own, as long as it's not stab stabbing yourself under the nail. Um, with a screwdriver. <laughs> So, okay then, what we'll do is 
until we've only got five minutes left. So we'll try. We'll just do a bit more on this guy. We'll get the last coat of um, grey on on his base, and then we'll call it. Well, this has been the most eventful project um, video ever, hasn't it? Right, to all my subscribers who have just started subscribing, um, unfortunately guys, I'm really sorry, you picked a really horrible time to, that sounds bad, but I don't mean it in that way, um, you picked a bad time to subscribe because I was away for ages, um, moving and stuff, so, um, I am getting around to, some of you have asked for, um, um, some paganish videos, I will be doing those for you. Some of you have asked for some more painting videos. Again, <laughs> that's why I'm doing this now. Um, and I will do the best I can. Okay. So, um, I'm going to head off and go and run, um, clean my, my hands and stuff. Um, so I don't get poisoned or something. And, um, next time you come back, hopefully this guy will be finished because I've got, um, tomorrow and Saturday at work that I can paint and hopefully I'll have got uh, the base coat on this um, and it won't just be black and hopefully it won't just be brown either because that would get really boring really quick but this is the last bit of bone and then we can start on the colourful curtains and the vampires and, and home home straight on this on this project guys and I just need to do something to the base and then it's done and then we can um, I'm going to go back to working on brink, uh, a bink sorry, and I'm actually going to try and do it for the same amount of videos that I worked on this um, and then uh, uh, I will start up a new project which will probably be something to do with a new painting project which will probably be something to do with uh, my 40k because I have an absolute buttload of Tyranid figures to paint um, that really need doing because I've had them for two years now and um, uh, that video that I, is back on my channel um, I only just painted the gargoyles so from that video so uh, I the hive tyrant's been painted I've got some xanthropes painted I've got my turvigon painted I've got my hive tyrant painted and my gargoyles but I've got all of those models and more to, to paint up so um, I really do need to get on on that but that's after getting Bink out of the way and well not out of the way but some more of it done um, so anyway enough babbling uh, I will see you next time if you've liked the video please like and subscribe to the channel uh, share with your friends on Facebook or Twitter or, or anywhere else and um, I will see you next time guys